All right, in this video, we're going to explore whether a Brawl Pass and Brawl Pass Plus can fully max a Brawler. Now, in order for us to determine that, we just need to double check on exactly what it is that we need in order to fully max a Brawler. And there are some considerations to take into account. The first one being, do they have a Hypercharge? If they do have a Hypercharge, that's going to be 5,000 off the bat. But we can only use those that 5,000 coins on a Hypercharge if we have a Brawler to level 11. And in order to get a Brawler to level 11, we're going to need 7,765 coins in order to do that, which is no mean feat in terms of cost. Once we've got the Brawler to level 11 and we've got the Hypercharge, we're going to need to at least have one star power. We're going to need to have at least one gadget. And ideally, we're going to need to have two gears for that Brawler. And the total cost for that is 17,765 coins. And if you're wondering what the power points cost is, then that's 3,740. But that is quite a lot. If we were going to look at fully maxing a brawler, so we were going to have the hypercharge, two star powers, two gadgets, and seven gears, assuming that the brawler does have a mythic, then we'd be looking to need a whopping 25,765 points. So you're probably wondering, that sounds like quite a lot. But how much do we actually get in the free pass the Brawl Pass and the Brawl Pass Plus. Now, I just want to caveat that this could change. So this video has been recorded as of the 14th of March, 2024, but this is always subject to change. This is not taking into consideration any coin events, any coins that you get from the star drops in the Brawl Pass, any anything else that you can get coins from. This is nothing to do with that. This is purely being able to unlock raw coins within the free pass, Brawl Pass, and ball pass plus so let's just go through exactly how many coins that we can achieve across the three different passes and then we'll have a little look at the power points to see what that looks like so if we are going to be a free to play or we are deciding not to buy the ball pass then we can get a total of seven thousand coins which as you know that is not going to be enough to fully max a brawler you could sort of use those coins across various different items for your brawler but you are not going to be able to get them to level 11. you would be able to get them to level 9 because that would only cost you 3090 cost in actual fact you could get two brawlers to level 9 with your free brawl pass which is quite nice however if you've checked out my video where ranked has a bit of an issue at the moment where not all brawlers are having their star power or their gadgets with them when they're in matches level nine is not great well when i say level nine is not great it just means that if you get to level nine and you haven't bought the star power and the gadget for them or even the gears you're at a disadvantage but you could still potentially take that brawler into ranked with just level nine but you would be severely at a disadvantage is my point all right so getting back on track so we can get seven thousand coins from the free ball pass but what about if we just buy a normal ball pass then we can get an additional eight thousand coins which is nothing to be sniffed at obviously so that would give us a sum of fifteen thousand. now if we were looking back at our optimal cost which was seventeen thousand seven hundred and sixty five we are once again short by two thousand seven hundred and sixty five coins now you could argue that we could get them from star drops within the pass absolutely that could absolutely happen but we're just talking about the flat coins here that you receive within the brawl pass so in this scenario you wouldn't get it this is just from a coins perspective now before we look at the brawl pass plus because that does open up options a little bit more for us i just want to double check on the power points with you so if we just go back to the free pass you would get 2500 power points to get a brawler to level 9 you need 1410 power points and to get a brawler to level 11 you need 3740 power points so the free brawl pass is not going to get you there unfortunately however if you are getting the brawl pass and the free pass then that is going to give you enough power points because you would have 4500 2000 from the brawl pass that would give you enough for the 3740 cost to get your brawler to level 11 and because we have got 15,000 coins 
yes we could absolutely get a border to level 11 and we could get their hypercharge if they have one that would cost us 12,765 however we are going to have to make a sacrifice on what types of star powers gadgets or gears that we get now final one then so when we look at the brawl pass plus that will give you a total of 18,000 coins and 6,000 power points so that is going to be more than enough for you to get a border to level 11, a hypercharge, one star power, one gadget, and two gears. You are going to have enough there. You are going to be left from a coin perspective with a change of 235 coins because we get, with a cost of that is 17,765, we're getting 18,000. And then as for the power points, because we are getting 6,000 and we only need 3,740 we're gonna have 2,260 left so definitely an imbalance from coins versus powerpoint and again this is the raw amount now admittedly you don't need as many powerpoints as you do coins but you can see where you, from a brawl pass perspective on the absolute raw amount you are being left with more powerpoints than you are coins now most of my friends and myself included who are playing brawl stars at the moment are having a coins issue and i think that's primarily because of hypercharges i think they are the main ones to blame and then also if you are buying multiple gears that isn't obviously mostly cost effective neither is getting multiple star powers and gadgets on the same brawler so you can see where coins could be shifted uh or focus should you like a little bit more um than they need to be and so that's probably not optimal now I just want to clarify, although you are going to be a guaranteed to get one brawler every single brawl pass plus, you would be able to get an optimal brawler level. And when I say optimal, it's because you are only picking one star power, one gadget and two gears. I think that the fact that you can only do that once a month and it is going to cost you $9.99 to get that is something that you have to take into consideration. As a free to pay player, you definitely will not be doing this. It's going to take you at least three brawl passes of of the free brawl pass in order to be able to get an optimal brawler fully maxed i just wanted to kind of give you the breakdown of that and of the costings it was a bit of an interesting question to me i was curious to know whether you could even fully max out a brawler and one of my friends actually asked me as well does the brawl pass plus even give you the opportunity to fully max a brawler and I suppose where all of these questions and stuff are coming from is because where is a focus on us playing ranked, trying to climb? We obviously need to prioritise what brawlers that we want to max out um, so that we can make sure that we've got the right amount of brawlers for each different scenario that comes up within ranked so that we can climb. Because we aren't necessarily always splashing loads of ca uh, cash on this and we are a little bit more reliant on the Brawl Pass Plus, we need to make sure that we're spending our resources if you like wisely and as i say i really do just want to caveat that no this isn't including events this isn't including um anything else that you can get in the game that gives you coins i.e mastery for brawlers all that good stuff obviously all that helps this isn't us landing a massive poo on brawl stars or a massive turd on them this is literally just us really just outlining the facts uh, and just having a look at this in terms of what it is we actually get versus what the cost is. So how do I personally feel about this? I think that because we were only looking at flat value and we're not taking into consideration everything else that you get within the rule pass, then this is just one view of looking at it that doesn't obviously paint the full picture. So I don't think it's a massive problem. If I was going to have a wish list, would I say it would be nice to have the Brawl Pass and the Brawl Pass Plus combination that that gave you enough on its own, regardless of the randomness, enough to get you a fully maxed baller? Yeah, absolutely. I think that, you know, when you're asking someone to spend £10 a month on a game, because bearing in mind, this is a month now for the Brawl Pass, and you've got like 76 ballers in the game, then... It's going to take a really long time as it is to get all of those uh, maxed out, especially if you're recently just started um, or you do decide to start purchasing the Brawl Pass. And why I do think it absolutely gives you a massive significant boost, there's no doubt about that. I just think on the raw value numbers outside of all of the other events and randomness and the intangibles that you can't really, you don't know when they're going to come up. 
I think that it could do with a tiny little buff, personal opinion. But that's just my thoughts. That's just me looking into this. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you have an issue with it? Did you know that you didn't have enough to fully max out uh, a brawler? Uh, and if you are free to play specifically and you don't spend any money on Brawl Stars, how does that make you feel knowing that the free pass on its own, just in terms of raw coins and power points, is not even going to give you a power level 11 brawler? That's it from me, guys. Thanks for checking out this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!